Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today I've got a quick tutorial on how to get the feet grounded on the floor when you're using Plask.ai and you know you're taking motion from video footage and dropping that onto your characters and I'm just going to show you how to kind of plant the feet on the floor and you know in a really quick and easy way but do note that this is really only going to work when there's not a lot of movement on the feet um, you know if you're doing motions where you want the feet movement to kind of be what you're taking from the video maybe that might be a dance or you know a walking motion this is not going to be great for that but I will do a separate tutorial on how you can use the motion correction tool to uh, correct motion such as you know walking or dancing but this is more if the character's kind of you know standing and just you know maybe talking or doing a, a you know a bit of a performance this will show you how to ground the feet like that so what you're going to want to do is load up your avatar and then just presuming that you've taken your motion um, from Plask drag and drop that Plask motion that you've now um, converted to RL motion onto your character and um, if you hit play here, you'll see, you know, the feet are, you know, not grounded and, you know, they're going through the floor and one minute they'll kind of go off the floor. So what I'm going to do is completely take out that leg motion. So we're going to assume that it wasn't a dance and it was just the upper body that we wanted to get. Um, the way to ground those feet onto the floor on um, the method that I'm using is to go into your motion puppet tool here. And then what you want to do is you just want to choose the motion that you want. Um, bearing in mind, this is just for the feet. So, you know, an idle motion is the best uh, motion to use. Um, so we'll pick whatever one we want. Let's just say maybe dance. And then when we've picked dance, we want to key out the top half of the body, the arms and the hands. So once we've done that, we just want to leave the legs in. And that just means that anything we record is only going to go solely to the legs and it will keep any other motion that we've got on the top half of the body. It will keep that there already. So once we've done that, if I hit preview, we'll now see that the feet, although they're going through the floor at the minute, they are grounded on the floor. So once we have recorded the motion, uh, we can then drag the model up a little bit, but then feet will be planted on the floor. So this is basically the trick that i'm using to get the feet grounded on the floor and you know as you know you can play about with the kind of exaggeration and the speed of any of these motions in here and you know just kind of get it um, varying to how you like and if we hit stop and then we'll just go back to the beginning of the frame and we'll just lift that model up a little bit in fact what we can do is we can turn on foot contact and then uh we can go down and that will contact the floor as you can see there so we'll just go down just to where it touches the floor and if I hit play you'll see them feet are now grounded to the floor uh, so that's the kind of that's the trick on how to get the feet grounded and planted on the floor um, in a quick and easy way and uh, you can use you know you can use multiple different you can use multiple different ones to kind of get, uh, you know, the feet doing something different if you perhaps, you know, didn't want them bouncing around like she's dancing. Um, we could change that to, you know, a natural idol, you know, and we can just key out everything. Or well, let's try the female and we'll key, key out the top half of the body. And then we'll just hit preview. And now you can see, you know, it's completely different. She's not bouncing around with her legs, etc. And we can get a whole different motion. Now, I won't record a new one. We'll just go off this. But what you um, can do as well is you can adjust the posture. Um, so, you know, if the legs are going down a bit and you wanted to raise her up a little bit more, we can hit free, the number three on our keyboard. And that will just bring up the edit motion layer. And what we can do is we could just go back a few frames in the timeline, maybe to about here. And um, we can just raise uh, raise the model by setting a key. And that will set one key and then just go in a few um, frames ahead. And we can just raise her from the uh, head up. And raise those knees. And... Um, maybe pop the head back down a little bit 
and you know that would kind of get you then uh, get her more standing up right so I hope that helps guys it was just a quick tutorial just to show uh, some of you how I am getting the feet planted once I you know drag and drop the plask motion onto the avatar um, this would be the way to do it now there is um, there is another way that you can use the edit motion layer I'm sorry the um, motion correction tool which is here you just right click on the motion and go up to your motion correction tool but I will do a separate tutorial on that as it does take a little bit more time and it is a little bit more fidgety and you do have to you know you know play around with it a little bit more to get um, the best results but the way I've just shown you is a very very quick way just to get those feet planted when you are using Plask AI so I really hope that helps and I hope to see you again soon for another tutorial